All right, so we've been doing these marketplace videos for a while now, right? This is number whatever. And we need to finally get to the bottom of something. It's really pissing me off. Um, we're going to find out what people's problem is. That's not even proper English, but that's how fired up I am about this. All right? And we should have asked this question before last week's question, which was, what are we going to do about this? Right? First, we need to identify the problem. That's what we're doing today. So what is your fucking problem? Uh, here's, here's the question of today. Um, so answer frankly, please. Um, so what's your problem? My problem? Uh, I have a full day of classes today. That's my problem. Classes? Yeah. Classic. Yeah. What's your problem? Yours. <laughs> What's your problem? Mine? Yeah. Right now, you are my problem. Well, you're my problem. Avoiding my question. I'm a avoiding your question by asking you a question? Yes. Okay. That's classic. I got the That's answer. classic 101. I got the answer. My problem is you. What? Based on what? Um, she didn't put enough pesto on my sandwich. <laughs> Fuck that shit. Right? Yeah. Take it back. I don't have a problem. Oh, that's very good. Orgo. Micro theory. Micro theory. Theory about small things? Microeconomics. There's theories about it? I thought it was just carry the one and receivables. So what's your problem? A lot of things, yeah. Let's go! Let's see, give me their biggest problem right now. Your biggest fucking problem. <laughs> biggest fucking problem? Yeah. No, not your problems with fucking. I, I assume you don't have any of those. I don't think I have a problem. Not, not even a single problem, like it's your period or something? Yeah. Your biggest fucking problem. Um, probably this while I'm trying to go down. Ah, uh, yeah. See what he's doing there? I get it. I get it. Yeah, fuck you. See this? See this dickhead over here? Show him. He's pissed about micro bullshit. Hey, what's your problem? Damn high. <laughs> I know that guy. I know that guy. I like that. All right. Two problems over here. What's your problem? I'm sick. What is it? Is it contagious? I don't know. We'll find out, I guess. Uh, sure. I think so. <laughs> Wait, how will we? How will, that's that's like a threat. We'll we'll find out. That's like you just injected me. You just injected me with AIDS or something. You're like, well, we'll find out. And I want number one problem. I actually have a bunch of problems. Not 99 it. problems. Okay. Um. What's your problem? I love bad bitches. Yeah. That's my fucking problem. Yeah, 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 yeah. And we're all aware of the song. Okay, well, I was going to go to your office and apologize, but I'm really claustrophobic and I don't go in elevators. I didn't realize you were in LNG. I thought you were in the library tower. So I was really nervous to go upstairs to apologize to you. So that's why I didn't come apologize. So that's my real problem. But now I can tell... I'll happily be on the show if you want me to. Oh, that's going on. Oh, really? I'm going to go tell my dad. He's going to be so That's happy. a great moment. Calling him right now. Hey. Yeah. I want. We want this on... Standing next to <laughs> Dad, I'm standing next to Vaughn right now, and I apologize to him, and I'm going to be on his TV show, and this is on TV right now. <laughs> it's not. You guys don't get what's happening. I apologize to Vaughn, the, the teacher you really want me to take his class, and I'm standing next to him right now, and he's had a microphone to my face, and I'm, he's taking an interview of me, talking to you. Aren't you happy? This is decidedly not a problem. I'm just hungry. I don't know. <laughs> hungry? Yeah. Well, you're in a good spot for that to be an issue. Yeah. What are you going to go with? I'm not sure. What do you think I should go with? Nothing here. I would not be here. Now, what's your problem? Motherfuckers. Do you want to say hi to him? Okay, you can say hi. Do you want to say hi? Hi, Dad. Axelrod. <laughs> I'm, that's what your name is on your daughter's phone. That's why I said I don't know what that means, Dad Axelrod, but... Um, she told me the whole story, and I, I agreed with your anger about our earlier encounter, and now we've, we've made up, and your daughter's on the right path. <laughs> Thank you. 
Absolutely. And thank you for your support of my, of my, my, my foolish endeavors. <laughs> Here's your daughter. What's your, what's your name? Kayla. Kayla! <laughs> Axelrod! Everybody's got problems. With what? It. What's it? Jews. So what's your fucking problem? Not getting laid. Oh! <laughs> now this is a problem. That is a problem. How are what are what have been some of your techniques besides relentless texting? Sending sexy Snapchats. Sexy Snapchats. Is that like a nip slip and a little? <laughs> no, that's that's not leaving much to the imagination. Then you just write like boners, haha. <laughs> now it's time to find a new one. Boom. That's what I'm talking about. She needs a new one. Let's go. Boners. Boners. Just boners. Just do that. Just boners. That guys love that. Guys just love text boners. the word boners. Okay. And you will be just just sort of swimming in it. Okay. It sounds awful, but <laughs> that's what will happen. Well, we found out that there are indeed problems of varying degrees. Um, some were hardly even problems, but I think we got to the bottom of it with that that last one, right? Getting laid for people, it's a problem. Boners, not a problem. They are rampant and ubiquitous. So, I think that's what you need to take away from all of this, is uh, boners rule. Marketplace. <laughs>